Alright guys, just making another journal entry today of some of my items. Um, these are uh, collectible lamps which I've acquired over the years. I did a previous video of some of my railroad lanterns, so if you haven't seen them, go back and watch that. Um, these are not railroad lanterns. These are quite different, each one in their own right. Okay, let's we'll start with this one here. This, uh, this lamp here, okay, was uh, made by the uh, Hanlon... Uh, company of St. Louis, USA. Okay, and uh, it's written on top of the lantern is is the words Consolidated Edison System. Okay, so I am assuming that this was made by the uh, Con Edison Company uh, for the Con Edison Company by uh, the uh, Hanlon Company, of St. Louis, USA. Um, and as I describe these things, anybody that has more information or can correct me, please do so. Alright, um, it has the original globe on it. That's the original red globe. And um, I'm going to open it up and take the globe out to show you. It's a beautiful globe. It's in mint condition. And it says on the Handling USA. Very thick glass. Okay, I don't know the year of this. Again, anybody who can give information, I greatly would appreciate it. Okay, that's the... An Edison system lamp. Okay, now I'm going to go move on to this one here. Okay, which says on it con consolidated Edison system, says it right there. Okay, and um, this is uh, this is different too in its own right. Okay, this is uh, says on a number 40 traffic guard. That traffic light says traffic guard. So I'm assuming this was uh, placed in the road or whatever when they were doing uh, doing work as, as a warning lamp. Okay, um, so it's right on the top there. Classic Guard number 40. And made in Syracuse, New York, USA. Okay, and um, it's, it's a beautiful lamp. It really is. And um, again, if I can do so, I will show you the globe. Open that up, take the globe out, is in perfect condition, perfect original condition, okay, it says right on it, okay, number 40 traffic guard, USA, alright, put that back together, it locks nice and tight, it's a beautiful lamp, it really is, I've never seen uh, one like that before, I think it's older than the other one. I don't know. Just judging by the shape. But at any rate, uh, those are two very special lamps. Moving on to this other red globe lamp here. This one here, when you first look at it, it looks like a typical Dietz um, railroad lantern. You've uh, seen many of them. Uh, but yet, uh, I believe this is, is not. Uh, the globe says Dietz on it, okay? The, uh, the globe on it uh, says Dietz uh, number 8. All right, number eight, red globe, uh, Dietz. Okay, however, the lantern itself, all right, has German writing on it. Okay, I'm probably not going to be saying this word right, but it's a uh, Frohehand. Frohehand, I can't say it right. <laughs> but uh, it's uh, made in Germany. It says right on the top and on the sides, made in Germany. Frohehand, and there's a, there's a symbol there of a flame being held by a hand, so I'm assuming that's what that word means. Um, made in Germany, number 280. And it also has the name up here of Nier, N-I-E-R. Okay, so the lamp itself was made in Germany, and the globe is a Dietz, USA lamp. I don't know if that was, a, um, if it's a marriage of two different lamps, or if in fact uh, the Dietz company worked with this German company to make these. I honestly do not know, but um, at any rate, uh, the glow is in perfect shape, and um, the whole lamp is really beautiful. A little rust on the bottom, you know, she's old, okay? The last lamp I want to show you is my favorite lamp. This one here, I believe, is the oldest lamp I have, okay? And this is a Dietz Union driving lamp. This is the kind of lamp that was mounted on the side of an old coach or, or 
perhaps an old uh, buggy, an old uh, one of the first old cars. I am not quite positively sure. Okay, um, those that's the, the hardware right there to connect it. Right, made of brass. Okay, this is in spite the fact that it's dirty. It's in excellent shape. The globe and everything inside, the wick, everything is perfect. I have had this thing lit. And in the back of it, okay, in the back, you can't see it with the light here, but this little light, this little piece of glass right here you're looking at, that's red. So when that lamp is lit, that shines through red as a, uh, you know, caution warning lamp. And um, I did find a, an ad for uh, this lamp which I'm going to post at the end of the video, you'll see it, and there will a little more information on it. Uh, they claim that this lamp mounted on the side of a, a buggy could uh, shoot its its light um, 200 feet. That's a little hard to believe, but um, that's what they claimed. So uh, it has a patent number on it, by the way, this lamp of, uh, I think it was 1892. Um, and so... That's, uh, that's the oldest lamp I have. Definitely uh, my favorite. I could picture this thing being mounted on the side of an antique buggy of some type. Um, it's in very, very good shape. It has one minor crack right down here in the brass. But other than that, it's in perfect shape. As I said, the insides, the globe, the insides, wick, and everything is in perfect shape. And uh, the locking mechanism... It works beautiful, and, uh, and it does light. I have had this thing lit. So um, so that's just a small selection of vintage lamps for you guys to, uh, to see. And uh, again, any information you might have about any of them, I greatly would appreciate you posting. Um, I have really have not done uh, a lot of research online about them. Uh, you know, I certainly have no intention of selling them at all. Um, but uh, I, I would definitely like to know more information about them if anybody has any. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I greatly appreciate it and uh, look forward to uh, hearing your comments. Book them, Daniel.